Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. It is a gorgeous day in New York City today, and I hope you're experiencing good weather as well. Today I wanted to bring up a topic that I believe is where a lot of people go wrong when it comes to weight loss. It's an area that um, people don't really think about as a flaw in dieting, but it's something that I've noticed when working with weight loss clients. And that is they focus too much on numbers, they focus too much on their weight and how many pounds they want to lose, and they focus less about changing their behaviors. And they make their goals weight specific instead of um, nutrition specific. So a good goal would be I'm going to consume at least five servings of fruits and vegetables every day over the next three weeks. Or I'm going to make sure to exercise twice a week over the next two weeks. Or um, increasing my water consumption to eight cups a day over the next four weeks. Something like that. You get my point. It needs to be more nutrition focused. Focusing on changing your healthy behaviors. And you know where you're going wrong when it comes to nutrition. You know whether it's your snacks. Whether it's your meals. Whether it's um, adding extra sugar. Adding extra salt. Whatever it may be. You know better than um, anyone else. And so focusing on switching those behaviors from bad to good. And with that, the pounds will drop. And it's something that you won't even need to think about. You know, like when you start decreasing the amount of processed snacks you eat, then your weight will coincide with that and your weight will decrease along with that. And it's something that I think will lead to lasting weight loss. Because some people, they'll do anything to lose the weight. If it means consuming 1,200 calorie packs a day and that's it, then they will do it. But whenever you do things like that, whenever you aren't focusing on good behaviors, but instead you're just focusing on the weight loss, then it won't be a lasting weight loss. And it's something that you're going to have to repeat again and again and again. And then you get stuck in the yo-yo dieting. So it really is important to identify where you're going wrong in terms of your diet, whether it's portion control, whether it's, again, I said salt, sugar intake, whether it's not getting your fruits and vegetables, um, whether it's really liking your snacks, really liking your desserts, whatever it may be, and taking it slow, you know, making it a gradual change. For instance, if you're a nighttime eater and it's something you struggle with every night, then making it a goal for yourself, even if it's just one night a week. One night a week, I'm not going to eat after dinner. Or if I'm hungry after dinner, I'm only going to have a piece of fruit and a yogurt. And that's a time that I'm going to make a healthy choice. And by doing that, and after a few weeks doing it one night a week, and then increasing it to two to three times a week, then it will slowly become a habit. And that's where the weight loss will stick. That's when... When the scale drops, it'll stay dropping, if that makes sense. Um, and you won't see the scale going back up. So again, my tidbit for today, focus your goals on changing your behaviors. Don't focus on, on weight loss. And along with that, try not to focus too much on weighing yourself as well. Stick to, at the max, weighing yourself one time a week in the mornings, and that's it. Because when you start weighing yourself multiple times throughout the week, then it really does affect your mood. Especially if you're weighing yourself multiple times a day, if you weigh yourself before you eat, after you eat, then that can really fluctuate your mood, it can change your motivation, it can stress you out, and it can really be detrimental to your weight loss. So if you do insist on weighing yourself, then do it at max once a week. Um, Try and focus more on your clothes. I mean, when you're starting to lose weight, you can tell in your clothes. And you can tell by the way you feel. You can tell just by looking in the mirror. And so um, that's another challenge I want to say to you all today is look at yourself in the mirror. You know, sometimes we're in denial. Sometimes we don't want to look at ourselves um, full-length mirror, especially if you have a bad or poor body image. But it's something that once you do start losing weight, you'll be able to visually see it. And it'll register in your brain. And it won't be something that um, you're in denial about. Because I know when we lose a whole bunch of weight, then sometimes we don't realize it. And we still think of, mentally, we still think of ourselves as the bigger person. 
So really looking at yourself in the mirror, and I know it sounds kind of um, elementary, but it is something that is important because you want to really connect with your body physically and mentally. Um, so those are my points for today. I hope they helped someone. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'll be around, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.